Daily Mass Readings and Reflection May 31, 2023 The Visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary First Reading Zephaniah Chapter 3 Verses 14 to 18 or Romans Chapter 12 Verses 9 to 16 Shout for joy, O daughter Zion, sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord, your God, is in your midst, a mighty Savior. He will rejoice over you with gladness, and renew you in his love. He will sing joyfully because of you, as one sings at festivals. Responsorial Psalm Among you is the Great and Holy One of Israel. Gospel Luke chapter 1 verses 39 to 56 Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting the infant leapt in her womb and Elizabeth filled with the Holy Spirit cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that God the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. She has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. Reflection how does this happen to me? Some Bible scholars will see in today's Gospel episode an allusion to the Virgin Mary as the Ark of the Covenant, one of the many titles in her litany. Given Luke's propensity for symbolism and illusion, this may not altogether be far-fetched. Can Luke be alluding to the story of David bringing the Ark of the Covenant to Jerusalem? David and all the Israelites brought up the Ark of the Lord with shouts of joy. Some verses earlier, he had expressed his fear and unworthiness by saying, How can the Ark of the Lord come to me? There are certainly verbal similarities to the narrative of Luke. Elizabeth also expresses her privilege of being visited by Mary who now carries the divine child in her womb. How does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? 
and if, in former times, the Shekinah or the presence of the Lord was contained in the ark, now the new ark is the womb of the Virgin Mary, containing God's permanent presence among his people. The Word made flesh.